Hey guys, this is a mid month reading for love and advice for the 15th through the 31st. Okay, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Merry Christmas, you guys, and have a happy new year for those of you who um, celebrate the holidays. All right, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. Now, of course, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. So if you want a personal reading, go to the website, select a reading, or you can email me if that's easier for you. All right. Here we go. Libra. What's going on? This is love and diet. The 15th through 31st. Libra. Celtic cross spread, guys, for mid month. King of Wands. Hmm. You may have a fire sign. Um present in your situation currently or either this is just how you're feeling very confident uh, very sexy you know you're a game changer I, I feel like here nothing can stop you your challenge is the Knight of wands your foundation is the queen of pentacles oh court cards good lord um, in your recent past we have the five of pentacles in your present situation, the Knight of Cups. In your future is the Ten of Pentacles. How you see yourself, the Seven of Wands. In the environment, we have the Chariot. Your hopes and fears, we have a Hierophant. Move that out of the way. And then in your potential outcome, we have the World. All right, guys. So now, like I said, you're feeling very confident. Um, you feel like you have control over your life. I feel like in the recent past, you weren't so confident. You kind of felt rejected, left out in the cold, kind of lonely, um, you know, just fearing how, how bleak your future was going to be possibly, I feel like here. Um, feeling like you almost had a, a loss of hope is what I'm getting here in your past position. All right. Now, your challenge is the Knight of Wands. Could be a younger fire sign that is significant in your situation. And if they're not younger than you, like in age, they just have this... Um, they're not as mature as you are. And they also have this flightiness about them. Um, not sure of themselves, I feel like. Not wanting to stay committed for long or devote themselves to a situation. Like, you know, they don't want to be cemented in. Okay. So... For some of you, the challenge is to not allow people to come in and out of your life as they please, okay? So for others of you, the challenge is for you to stay grounded and in control of your life and you not be the Knight of Wands in and out, indecisive about what it is that you want to do, where you want to be, okay? Now, your foundation is the Queen of Pentacles. You got it going on. You have it going on. Um, people see you as very elegant, very, like you know how to carry yourself. They almost see you as somebody that's untouchable. But you're not untouchable. 
I just feel like you're a very strong individual. You know what you want. You know how you want to live your life. You know what kind of person you want in your life. And I feel like, you know, this is just who you are. Beautiful. Very attractive. Um, you know, not flighty. It's almost the opposite of the energy that's surrounding you. Very grounded, very balanced. Now, see, the thing about the King of Wands is, you know, it's a person that the King of Wands gets people to do things for him. He's in control of it, over it, but it's like he delegates things to get things accomplished that he wants to accomplish, okay? Hmm. So crowning you, we have the Knight of Cups. You know, I get the feeling that your foundation, definitely you. But I get the feeling the King of Wands, is somebody in your environment. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Because I feel like you're showing up here <coughs> in the past and in the near future, you know, very grounded. Um, this is a stable energy. You worked your way out of this. You worked your way out of this, okay? Because the Five of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, I'm sorry, um, that's double. So you work your way out of this Five of Pentacles, and here you are standing as a Ten of Pentacles, having the abundance that you need, taking care of your family, having the stability within your family, within yourself. You have everything that you need within your own family unit, I feel like here. So I feel like this energy right now surrounding you, engulfing you, it seems, is the exterior. Either the knight, the king of wands and the knight of wands is one person and the knight of cups is just one person or it's possibly two individuals. Could even be three individuals. But I strongly feel the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands is one person. Um, that, that kind of, you know, they kind of get people to do their bidding for them. Or they're just very, they're just very sexual and in and out. They may be hot, they may be cold. You may hear from them one day and then not hear from them for two weeks and then here they come again, okay? And then they come, you know, reacting in a way that is over the top, one way or the other, whether it's being very loving or very rude with the Nine of Cups being here crowning you, that's currently like affecting you Okay. Like I said, in the near future, here you come with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. You're going to be okay because I, I feel like you don't let this bother you. That's not bothering you. You've come out of that. You're making steady progress. This is how you see yourself as the Seven of Wands. And this is standing your ground. This is not allowing anybody to come in and just you know, rock your world. This is blocking people. I don't feel like you're seeing anybody because when you block one, you have you take this stance for a while because you're defensive um, due to what you've been through. So it's like everybody's blocked out. Everybody's blocked out. But there's somebody in your environment that wants to move forward with you. 
they feel like if they're with you, then they can't go wrong. Here with the chariot, cancer energy. Your hope is just to, you know, stand your ground, stick to your guns. Um, you know, not waver from this person that you are at this point because you don't want anything to affect your stability, what you're trying to create for yourself and your family. Right now, I don't feel like you're looking for anything traditional. This is also being very traditional because I feel like you're, you're the rock for your family. And not only your immediate family, but also your extended family here, I feel like. But I tell you what, your potential outcome is the world. Things are getting ready to change for you in the new year. Something new, there, there's, there's a new path, a new venture that you are in, about to embark on, I feel like here. Something new. I'm going to pull some cards for the world. I just want to see what comes up with this energy. Let's see, why is the world here? Cycles ending for sure. So if it's been a dry spell, that's probably going to be over. Hang on one second, guys. Oh, okay. The world. We have justice here. And just as it was in reverse, um, so for me, and I'm going to turn it upright, but what I get from this is there is a need for you to, this is your card as well, justice. You know, when people do things that um, that we know aren't right or we feel like they've done something to insult us or, you know, to betray us or whatever, sometimes we do want, we want to know that they are getting what they deserve. Well, of course, it's not up to us. We just have to function the way that we know that we are supposed to function and, you know, everything else will be handled in divine timing, in the right time, okay? And so there's a need just to function in a way that you can be proud of. To not worry about whatever somebody else has got going on over here and not worry about whether, you know, this person is going to reap what they sow because they will. But it's not our justice to deliver. And I think that is what um, the world is here for. To let go of the hurt and the neglect, the regrets, whatever has transpired between you and someone else, let it go, leave it alone, put it out there, and just go on about your business, okay? Because I feel like there is somebody else coming in for you. Because even though this is air energy like yourself, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is somebody coming into your life. Aquarius, <clears throat> excuse me, Aquarius energy here. And I feel like it's somebody because there is somebody. It could be Gemini as well, Libra. But I get the feeling this is somebody that's probably like on the Cancer Gemini cusp with this um, chariot in the environment wanting to move in a positive direction with you. I feel like there's somebody coming in for you. 
in the new year. So Libra, that's what I have for you for the 15th through the 31st. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.